Hello there, how are we all doing? Well, do you know what? It's time to do some more effles. Been a bit rubbish this year with the effle bagging. Only done a few already. Uh, actually did some up over there. And I'm, I'm heading now over to Ireland. And I'm here now. And I can just look out, I'll show you in a minute. And I'm gonna do two effles today. So we're gonna do number 37 and 38, I do believe. And that is um, Fort Cloud and Tissington Hill. Uh, and we're gonna be running through uh, Dovedale, which is uh, quite a uh, popular spot here in the Peak District. So let me show you. Here we are at the top, let's zoom in. So we can see that flat top there, that's Fort Cloud. And then as we go, we'll go up there and then drop down and then we'll follow, um, follow the valley up uh, to, to Tissington Hill and try and find Tissington Hill and then come back through the, um, the car and come back through the uh, Dovedale to finish up. I'm going to park somewhere on that road. Um, so glad to have you along with me today. It's just me on my old lonesome. I uh, did a run yesterday as well, so we'll see how I go today. I don't know, I reckon it'll be 10k-ish, a little bit more maybe. We shall see. I don't know. It's just one of them runs. Anyway, see you at the start. Hands on rock, Let's get to the top. Look at that little behind us. Let's keep moving. Number 37, bagged. Fort Cloud. It's more coming from the down in some towns. It's more dangerous than running uphill. Running uphill, like to have a heart attack. Running downhill, I like to slip and break my neck. <laughs> damned if you do, damned if you don't. Anyway, best book for the way. Don't know why my Yorkshire accent comes out when I'm videoing. Come <laughs> no down now. Stepping stones. Time so I came here, it was absolutely flooded. All this area was underwater. So we've just been up there, Fop, Cloud. Now debating which way to go, whether to go this way to bag the Eiffel and then come back along the valley. I'll do the valley first. Hmm, any mini miny mo. Let's take a look at the map. Just wow. Fop, Cloud, we're just passing by. Coming into Dovedale, we'll be running back along there. Cool little feature there, I forget what that's called. It's got a name, remember it. We're going up there, yeah. What path? <laughs> there is a lot of path.
calf there. Don't fall down that bit there. Well, there's the river, we're back in the valley. Um, how far are we in? 6k. Um, thought we were going to come off the hill back there, down this little gully, but um, want to be. It's all overgrown, probably dangerous. So, um, come this way, which means we've got a longer bit of a route through the valley. Oh, look at that, eh? Look at that big cave behind me. Look at that. Like a mini falls cave. Ah, right, I'm going to keep going. Didn't do my beer this morning. Still looks good though. It's a uh, pretty happy ground here. It's like a scene from Jurassic Park. These big limestone monoliths that kind of come out of the side. That's what it is around here, it's all limestone. That's why it's called the White Peak. Let's see if we get up to Reynard's Cave, I think it is. Um, we'll see. But it's Plumbing cool. You know, that little cave up there. Absolutely stunning. It's like three sisters in Australia. Although there's one, two, three, four, four spikes there, pikes. Cave. Hope I said it right, probably said it completely wrong. If I am, I'll edit it on the video. Pretty cold, these limestone caves. Okay. Keep going. See all the fossils in the limestone. Well, I guess one in Rome. Kind of got to go. Cross. Oh. Other side, come back, and then we've got to go up there. Let's go. It's defense parked halfway up the hill. Come on, own up. Where is he? I want to speak to him now. That's for for Cloud where we went up there. There he is. And we're coming up, coming up here out of the valley. But some idiot backed halfway up the hill. So we're finishing with a hill run. What a bloody fool! What a blooming fool! Oh my word! Oh, hello. There he is. Two for number one. Oh wow! So probably going to be about 10k. This, uh, this walk here is going to screw me to pace up, although at, at 10k an hour. Uh, I'm not too sure that I've got a pace going on there, but um, there we go. So, whew, not really been doing much running. Don't know why, just not motivated to. Bored of, um, well, I do know why. Bored of running around the lake, around my own town. Top of my right leg hurts when I run on hard ground like tracks or canal. So, that puts me off running. Ah. But went for a run yesterday. Wife dragged me out. Cheeky 7k. She went off and boshed about 14. That pocket rocket. And then um, got this bad boy today. 10k. Went to the gym yesterday and all. Went to the gym a bit more now. But it's off, isn't it? It's nice bloody hard at the moment. Rising cost of living. All that. Yours truly is going to get a job. Going back into outdoors he is. Yep. Got to do a bit of climbing, mountaineering, walking, DV. All that jazz. Um, but anyway, so, two more raffles bagged. Um, I'm going to sign off. Don't know how long this video will be. 
but um, hopefully it won't be too long before we're doing some more effles. More already in the pipeline, planning a route with my mate Scoops over on Haversage. No, not Haversage, yeah, well, it's over near Haversage, but up on Stanage Edge, uh, Higator, uh, and those four effles around then. So hopefully you'll see Scooby um, gracing my YouTube videos, showing me up, Rob's. Term. Anyway, for now, I'm going to crack on, push forward, call it a day, we'll call it Tuesday. I'd say we've done 10k, two more effles, uh, that puts me up to 38, I think, or 39, nearly at the halfway mark. 10k, folks, 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 and you know what? Put one foot in front of the other.